guys I have been holding on to this video forever but this is how I transform this table that I bought for ten dollars into this beautiful monstrosity right here it is so gorgeous now but you know let's just talk about before so you can see it has little curves and lines on it. it's pretty binged up which I'm really not gonna sand it or anything but I am just gonna spray paint it you know do some accents to it so I'm first starting off with this really flat um, white paint by Rust-Oleum and honestly you're gonna see that this is pretty much just a priming layer because the way this paint is set up I'm not a fan um, it's way too flat it doesn't have any gloss or shine to it and I didn't really like that so pretty much I'm using it here uh, because my I had it at the house so I'm pretty much just priming it with this per se So I'm in Walmart, right? And I'm about okay. The spray paint that I bought, it was not. It was very flat. It was like a matte white. So yeah, I need gloss white. I wonder if I should buy. Yeah, I think this one should be enough. I'm gonna need two. Okay, I'm just gonna buy the gloss whites. Okay, so I also picked up some parchment paper because I what I initially am going to do is pretty much trace this outer edge. Now I really want to trace paper because honestly nothing really sticks to parchment paper so securing it to the table was the hardest part. Like y'all it was so hard to like find anything that would pretty much stick to the parchment paper. And I'm using some putty which it really wasn't sticking but it held it in place long enough for me to um to pretty much trace out this little line that's on here. I didn't know how to like get the line so tracing it was the easiest thing I could think of um, to get the line. And you know that was pretty smart of me to think of that. So you know you just kind of like do the little shading and the line appears. So it's like amazing like I'm so happy I thought of that. But the parchment paper was really hard to just stick and it took a little bit of time and then it wasn't long enough. So if you can find trace paper, use trace paper. I think maybe things will stick to it like that thing had staples in it and everything so this is just me showing you how the parchment paper lines up so it's pretty much on the money you know it pretty much works and the reason that I, we did this is because we are going to put a marble top on that so yeah this is just a little screw thing we came with something that I bought from Ross um, a little shoe rack but I'm using it to tighten up the little screws because they were a little wobbly but this definitely tightened everything up so yeah this came with the shoe rack I bought at Ross that I had to assemble but now the table is very sturdy and everything like that and that little tool came in handy so now I'm using my gloss white from rust -Oleum. and the spray paint handle that I have is also from Walmart you guys you guys always ask me like where do I get it from Walmart it's two dollars um, and it's very like and it's like amazing because I'm telling you my finger used to hurt like just holding the top of the spray can but with this you just kind of pull the lever in and it just goes to work so I'm just continuing to um, spray paint this um, you're gonna have to do a few coats in some places like I missed I would probably recommend doing it up right side up because having it laying on the ground um, the shadow on it pretty much when you turn it back over you will see that the shadows look off and like not coated correctly so I definitely recommend doing this upright definitely don't do it on the ground like I'm doing here I mean it worked but when I did flip it over I noticed like the little um on the edges here where the legs are where they kind of like come out um, from the table that part wasn't coated good the other way they look fine like this way but I had to go over it again but I don't think I showed that but um, just make sure that you're coating everything good and you can see how nice and like glossy this paint looks up close I really like it I'm glad I chose this color it's really good Moving in into our next part of the project, I'm using this liquid leaf and it's in the color Classic Gold. I bought this on Amazon. It came in like two days. I think it arrived on a Sunday. I'm using some really small paint brushes because I'm going to put the little gold right in that little crease. Now let me tell y'all, my workmanship on this was super terrible. Like... I was thinking how would I have done this differently but I guess you can outline it and this is not very easy to clean up so if you do decide to do this like I wanted to show you all, all my mistakes so 
lining this was the hardest thing in my life I ended up actually using a smaller brush and the smaller brush really did help make a difference but I didn't really know how to outline something like this you know but now I know like me just watching this footage I would have definitely um, outlined it with some masking tape but I didn't do that in the video and you're gonna see me make several mistakes but um, I'm not a perfectionist anyway so things don't have to be perfect for me they just have to look decent the final product so I also put the liquid leaf on the edge of the table so around the the other part that we did not trace I'm applying the liquid leaf there as well and I'm just gonna do a few coats of this because this stuff is really thin and I'm don't worry I know it looks very thin and stuff and it looks like not good and I'm going over onto the table spot onto the actual tabletop trust me guys that's gonna be painted as well so yeah this stuff is really liquidy uh, I actually got some of my pants so definitely wear clothes that you don't care about but um yeah so you can see the little I painted the little before the legs I painted that little part gold too just for extra touch so yeah and this is what it kind of looks like and now I'm gonna use some marble contact paper I bought this marble contact paper on Amazon as well so two-day shipping and I just rolled it out the length of the table and then I went ahead and cut it it's really good because it has lines and things on the back to help you like with the precision of the cutting and things like that so here's me finally taking that trace paper that we used earlier and I'm putting objects on it to keep it flat. I'm, I use some sparkling, some sparkling grape juice bottles, some plates, you know, some paper clips. Whatever I had to do to get this line to look decent. Paper was rolled, so I had to hold that down as well. And this trace paper, I wanted to make sure it was accurate as possible. This was the easiest part of the project, tracing this part, but this part is hard. So again, like I said, I am not a perfectionist, but I went ahead and it took me a minute to find out how to perfectly place this because for some reason it wasn't lining up, but eventually I got it to line up and I said I was, it was a little piece that wasn't still lined up, but I said I was just going to go back over it with a little bit more of the gold leaf and you can't even tell. So smoothing out all these bubbles was really hard, but probably because I also did not sand this top. So again, if you're a perfectionist, you want everything to be perfect, you know, I really don't care. Like I tried to get out as many air bubbles as I could, but your girl, I'm impatient as well. So I could only do what I can do. So yeah, I used a little gift card to kind of flatten out everything. And then I would just pull the paper back from underneath. And this is pretty much how I did this process it was very tedious and time-consuming like this um honestly upset me how long this took to put this paper on here just those freaking air bubbles I kind of wish I would have seen the top but I didn't and you know what I ain't even mad So now that that's done, it's time for finishing touches. I'm going in with the gold leafing again. I saw someone do this on something else on YouTube and I was like, that is so cool. So I'm just going in into the veins of the marble top and I'm just putting in little lines to mimic the veins that's already there. I'm sorry my hair is kind of in the way, but I'm just doing dots and lines. I'm pretty much tracing again what's already there. So yeah. Um, you can do however much or a little this that you want, but I just thought I gave it like an extra touch of character because it go it's gold and it reflects off the table and it kind of looks like the marble has, you know, little gold cracks in it, which I thought was cool. And I like the, I really love the ones that I did on the end of the table because they just look like it's sprouting from the edge and seeping into the marble. Um, it's just a little touch that I thought was cute and everything like that. I did this for my old room to be a coffee, to be a pretty much like a little coffee table. But in my new room, it's um pretty much an end table. It just sits on the edge of my couch and I put like little things on it. I pretty much went overboard on all the gold leafing. That's why I'm pretty much speeding this part. Why well, I keep saying pretty much? Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> 
but I just did more and more of this little gold leafing on the table until I was finally satisfied. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, you really enjoyed it, then give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. And if you haven't already, go ahead and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified when I upload. And leave me some comments down below what you guys thought about this project and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!